Hey guys, today I have another product review and that is on La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. Why this is their best seller in Europe. The ingredients, the formulation, how to use it, and why it is also one of my personal favorites. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and on here I love to talk about all things germ related, skincare education, skincare product review, and much more. So today I thought this product review would be very fitting as we transition into fall because I love this for the fall winter but also I just been seeing this product pop up on my social media feeds and so I thought I would just take a deeper dive into this product and talk about ways that you can use this regardless of your skin type and it's really fitting for all skin concerns and ways which we will talk about. So La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Balm, what is it? Essentially you can categorize this as an ultra thick moisturizer essentially that has very calming and soothing properties. When you look on the website, what it's listed to do is to calm, soothe, and nourish dry, chapped, irritated skin. And that's certainly what I recommend using this product for and what I use it for on a more regular basis. It can also serve as a skin protectant. And so in Europe, what I learned about when I traveled to Paris earlier this year was that this is their top seller because actually it's used by not just, you know, skincare enthusiasts, but by the whole family. Family. And families will actually use Cicaplast as like a diaper ointment or diaper cream to either treat or prevent diaper rashes, which I thought is really unique and interesting. And certainly something that I haven't routinely been recommending to my patients, but certainly that can be a great option here with its ingredients listed. Now, when you actually look at the packaging here on this box, it actually lists all the ways that you can use this, which is helpful. So you can use it on your face, on your lips on kids as young as one week old, arms, elbows, dry and cracked hands and feet, and much more. So that is really the primary purpose of this ointment. It's just really as a great ultra thick moisturizer that can be soothing, calming, and healing. It also can serve as a skin protectant. So this is a very rich nourishing cream. When you first put it on, it kind of, it's not pasty, but certainly ultra nourishing and heavy and thick. But as you blend that into your skin, it starts to kind of really quickly absorb into your skin and you would be surprised given you know the initial thick texture of this balm how quickly it absorbs and how tacky free and non-sticky it feels once you give it a minute to settle into your skin which is why I think this balm is super popular because it gives you that instant nourishment and hydration but without feeling extra thick and sticky and shiny and heavy and why a lot of individuals would have a better time tolerating this product Product compared to say petrolatum in areas like say on their face where they may not want that greasy shiny look or say in body fold areas where that petrolatum stickiness is just uncomfortable. So when you actually look at the ingredients and formulation, it makes sense. What it contains are vitamin B5, so panthenol, and that is a vitamin we know has soothing, wound healing, and skin protecting benefits. Furthermore, it contains shea butter, which again is very nourishing. And I think that is what gives this ball or a moisturizer that rich and nourishing texture. It also contains ingredients that act as great humectants and emollients, including glycerin as well as 1% dimethicone. And then it contains a very popular ingredient, metacasoside, which is an active compound derived from centella. And we know that centella is a great ingredient popularized by K-Beauty, but we find it now in many ingredients here in the US that has very calming, soothing, and wound healing properties. And then in addition, it also contains La Roche-Posay's thermal spring water, which we know is great for supporting the skin barrier. But another ingredient that I find to be very fascinating that's present in the formulation is zinc gluconate. So zinc gluconate is predominantly used in acne formulations, and we know that it has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. And often in the setting of treating acne, it helps to control sebum and helps to reduce the bacterial burden in the presence of inflammatory acne. And you can certainly find zinc gluconate and lots of different brands and the one that really comes to mind right now is I believe in Cetaphil's like Derma Pro line and so zinc is also another ingredient that's very helpful and I think this is why as a side note I'm seeing this being used by individuals with acne prone skin which is not the first thing you think of in healing and in helping with their 
acne treatment. And the other great thing about this product is that it's alcohol free, fragrance free, and essential oil free. So really intended for those with super sensitive, dry and irritated skin. It's also non-comedogenic, but you know, with that, you just have to use it and try it on your skin. Certainly fearful of using petrolatum due to the super occlusiveness, this would be a great in between. And that is also reason why I really love this product is that it's ultra rich and nourishing and not super greasy and occlusive like petrolatum. So something that is a great in between product. And I have this in my purse all the time. I use it, as I mentioned before, for various different things, which I will share in a bit. So another really interesting ingredient, it has chlorhexidine gluconate. And chlorhexidine is an antimicrobial ingredient. And actually as dermatologists, we prescribe it a lot in the form of mostly cleansers to help with skin infections. And in medicine, actually surgeons will use chlorhexidine as their hand wash to scrub their hands before going into surgery. And so I think part of the labeling here when it says antibacterial agents, possibly the zinc as well as chlorhexidine plays a role in not only making sure that this product is sterile and doesn't easily go bad, but these ingredients may also help in the sense when you have irritated, inflamed skin, they're more prone to infections. And these ingredients can be helpful in soothing the skin, in improving skin barrier, healing and wound healing in that sense, which is why I think it makes sense that in Europe, this is often used as a treatment and prevention as well for diaper rash. So overall, I just really like this because it's a very well formulated product. It's a very nourishing product and it's still not super greasy or thick where I think all skin types can benefit. And here are ways that I personally use them myself and how I recommend to my patients. Number one, if you have just very irritated skin, those individuals with really sensitive skin and or say you're on isotretinoin or Accutane and you're getting really dry and chapped skin, you can certainly just use this as your facial moisturizer. Maybe not every night because that can be too much, but certainly on days when you need it to help your skin heal. Or you can use this to to spot treat areas that are eczema prone or that are dry and flaky, whether it's because of eczema or due to you know your Accutane treatment. But this is a great moisturizer for the face and or for the body in a way. It's just it's a small tube. I don't recommend it using every day as your body moisturizer because certainly you would go through that very quickly. But to spot treat like dry flaky areas and also say to use on your hands for dry cracked hands and feet and also to kind of coat your nails, the cuticles of your nails to help to hydrate and to soothe your cuticles so that way your nails grow healthy. That is one way of using it. It's just like a more intense, rich moisturizer. I also find this product to be a great one if you're just starting on a topical retinoid, especially prescription strength, and you're having a really hard time with the dryness and irritation. You can use this product as your moisturizer, like either before your retinoid or over it to kind of reduce that irritation like serving as a buffer. Certainly you can also use this to kind of protect areas of your face before applying your topical retinoid to reduce irritation. You guys have probably seen dermatologists recommend putting petrolatum on the corners of the eyes, nose, and mouth to really reduce the likelihood of tretinoin getting into those crevices or concave areas to lessen the irritation. And certainly you can use this cream like that as well, especially for individuals who are like say for example prone to milia around the eyes and you may not want to use something like petrolatum where it's 100% occlusive, this moisturizer would be another great way to help to protect the skin against tretinoin irritation. Another way of using it is to soothe your lips. I know we think of, you know, chapstick as more balmy like, like wax based balm like, or say, you know, petrolatum like, but this is another great one to use to kind of calm and soothe and hydrate dehydrated lips. And certainly something I recommend using. So we talked about how how this can be a great healing balm. Again, with diaper rash, you can use it on kids. But if you are prone to getting irritation, especially in your, like your groin fold, if you're a runner from chafing, this would be a great ointment to apply prior to say your biking or running activities to reduce that skin on skin friction. And also individuals who are prone to getting rashes under the breasts, you know, in the groin fold or even in the armpit areas because of sweating and or potentially there may be a, like an 
excessive yeast burden that can cause breakdown of skin, this would be another great way to kind of protect the skin in that sense. And the other way I recommend using this is those who may be more prone to shaving bumps or just want to have something that's really rich and soothing on the skin, but not super heavy or greasy. This can be used on the face or on the legs or particular areas, or say even your bikini area, co-shaving to reduce that skin irritation and lessen the likelihood of shaving bumps developing. And another great way is using it on scars, whether you kind of burned your hand while cooking or from curling iron or styling tools, what have you. This can be a great way to help with wound healing and to minimize the appearance of your scars as it's healing. On the same line, in a different vein, you can use this as like your post-procedure recovery cream. So for those individuals who either undergo home peels or say have a more intense peel in office or even like after laser treatment, this would be a great balm to put on your skin to really help promote healing and augment the benefits of your cosmetic procedure. And another way to use it is because they're using this around your eyes as an eye cream. And certainly with these ingredients, they're not intended for anti-aging benefits. But if you're just wanting to have a good eye cream, eye moisturizer that is rich and nourishing, less likely to cause issues and cause milia, especially if you're prone, I think this can be a great one to use. And especially if you're starting to get eyelid dermatitis and you're looking for something to soothe that flaky red skin, but not something that's super greasy and shiny like petrolatum, this can be a great substitute. And lastly, another favorite way of using this product is to use it for slugging. Now, you know, we talked about slugging in the past and how it can be a great way to help your skin barrier heal or just do a few times a week to really get that healthy, radiant skin. Now, traditionally, obviously, slugging is done with petrolatum, but some people may not enjoy using petrolatum because, again, it's very occlusive. It's very shiny and thick and sticky. And especially if you're oily skinned or prone to acne, you may not want to be using petrolatum. But the Sika Plus Balm is still rich and nourishing enough that it can give you kind of that benefit of slugging, which is basically to prevent chest epidermal water loss without having that heavy, greasy, and tacky feel. All right, guys, I hope you found this review helpful. Comment below and let me know if you have tried this and what are your favorite ways of using Sika Plus Balm B5. Again, if you have other products that you would like me to review please comment below and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye